when you have a beautiful luxury RV camper like the one you see behind me and you're towing it with your heavy duty truck, sometimes the experience can be a little bit stressful and very bumpy. But on this episode, we're gonna show you how to solve this issue with a very, very clever hitch. But in order to do this, I need a heavy duty expert, Mr. Truck, what can we do? I have the answer. We're out here in home of Gen Y in Indiana. This executive torsion flex hitch isolates moving the truck and trailer, makes it ride better. It's so cool. This one has it. We're gonna go out and try it and see just how much improvement it makes. Of course, this video wouldn't be possible without our friends at Gen Y. And we're here in Indiana at their headquarters and manufacturing facility. Use the link below. They have a hitch for any type of job, bumper pull, gooseneck, or fifth wheel. This is gonna be an action-packed video because we're gonna show you exactly how the Torsion Flex Executive fifth wheel hitch works and how it actually acts when you're going down a bumpy highway. Then we're gonna see the manufacturing facility to see exactly how these heavy duty hitches are made, including the bumper pull hitches, and then convert it to a gooseneck attachment and then show you that as well. All of that is coming up right now. All right, so you purchased your beautiful brand new fifth wheel RV camping trailer and you have your truck. You have to be mindful of the turning radius, which is why we're gonna show you exactly how that works. This Chevrolet right here has a shorter bed and it's really important to watch your clearances. But when you buy the executive hitch from Gen Y, the turning radius is basically the same or better than standard hitch that you get originally with your trailer. And this is the new Gen Y Executive Torsion Flex. Now what's cool about this is it replaces your kingpin. You take out the kingpin and now you've got all this flexing of these torsion rods. Let's see, four, eight, sixteen of those rods in there that give you the flex. And you'll see that in the video, how much movement it gets. So it separates the movement of the truck and the trailer. That's what you want for a better ride for you and the trailer. But that's what this is. It's all heavy duty, powder coated from Gen Y Hitch. Now what I like about this is this bolts to the kingpin frame where the normal pin box bolts. So this attaches to the whole trailer frame, which makes it a stronger unit. So I think this is really the better way to go if you want to put a cushion on your fifth wheel. And they also make one like this for a gooseneck conversion with a cushion torsion flex. Thanks to our friends at Showalter RV in Napani, Indiana. We have this beautiful trailer to use for our testing today. And it's basically a 39 foot long, fifth wheel toy hauler with a garage in the back and a luxurious interior. And it weighs about 14,500 pounds the way you see it here without any stuff additionally in it. It has about 3,100 pounds of pin weight, which means it's pushing down on a truck with that much weight. So, when you actually are purchasing a big luxurious trailer like the one you see behind me, you have an expensive towing rig like a diesel truck, and in the end, you want a comfortable experience. So how are you gonna get it? Well, this Torsion Flex hitch provides a separation or a cushion between the trailer and the truck. That's what's really important. You wanna have a nice comfortable ride for your house, your towing behind you, and also your vehicle here and they're using this torsion axle uh, that is built into the hitch or several torsion devices to actually accomplish this task. But I don't feel it behind me. I mean, this trailer is 13 feet tall. It's quite amazing what a fairly simple torsion device can do. Yes, it's an investment. It's about $1,500 for some models of the executive hitch, but you're already spending well over $100,000 for the trailer and truck. And in my mind, the investment is worth it. I want to see what Mr. Truck thinks. Now, my goal is to try to hit all the bumps I can to run test the movement of that Gen Y torsion hitch back there. This is the fifth wheel one. I know we're hitting bumps, but it's actually pretty comfortable. We're isolating the trailer from the truck. It's a real rough road, but actually it's pretty comfortable in here. 
we're not feeling the truck and trailer bounce together because that's the worst kind of bump there is was when a truck and trailer play basketball and bounce all over the place and it's not happening. All right, check mark where we're able to actually test a fifth wheel camping RV trailer properly. Now let's go to Gen Y Hitch manufacturing facility to see exactly how these hitches are built. So basically, the the ball mounts are actually manufactured on this line here. Okay. What he's doing here is he's making the, the shank that goes into the truck right. or into our hitch. That's part of it. It's and it's a solid piece. Yeah. Right. Then here's where the two are joined together. That's the ball we use. Okay. This is and then it's welded together. Okay. Yeah. And then it's welded together. Wow. That, that'd be a finish, finish. Well, that's what you see here. You can kind of see how the robot lays down the bead. I mean, yeah. it's the same way oh, every very time, right? Yeah. This is actually a finish. You know, it's nice and flat. You don't even see it welded. Yeah, it's all nice ground yeah. down. And you've introduced this recently, right? The floor yeah, the, we call that the pinnel saddle. Where your pinnel sits in there and where it doesn't flop back and forth. We talked about that in the yeah. video. Okay, so the pinnel trailer part will come in here. Yeah. And then you close it down, right? With right, with that little block. He's machining the inner bars that go on the torsion flex. Inside this. Yeah. Uh, axle. So cut, it'll cut the blanks just like that. I okay. mean, it's solid steel, cut the blanks, and this is how it what he's doing to and it. And then the rubber pieces go around yes. it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see that later on then, back okay. there. This is where they kind of go together. So this is the shank that goes to the truck. Uh-huh. Gets put in there. That's the shank. And that's the drop. Yeah. The drop we're looking at gotcha. there. This is actually a dual robot. So there's two robot arms welding. Okay. On the hitches. These are only the drop hitches. Drop hitches, right. This machine here will produce about 160 complete uh, drop hitches, mega duty, yeah. if you will, uh, in an eight hour shift. After they're done being machined, they'll look like this. So this is a finish a finished product ready for powder coat. Here's the uh, beginning stages of our uh, gooseneck inserts. Okay. Uh, these are all laser cut out on a tube laser. Nice. All right, so let's talk about how the torsion actually works. So basically, this is our inner bar, which would essentially go all the way through and, and come out the side like that it'll sit like in, a diamond shape yeah it'll sit in there like that okay and this is where the arm attaches to that okay. makes it work okay and there's four pieces of rubber that go in each corner how we insert this is we use night liquid nitrogen we have a press uh -huh. so we press this to this egg shape right here okay we have a die that we have that this gets pressed to Okay. And we freeze it with li liquid nitrogen, then it'll expand, and that's what tighten it up, tightens it up in there inside the tube. And basically, when you have that motion up and down, that bar starts to twist a yeah. little bit, right? All all your weight's on this bar, and it's on rubber, so it just twists like that. And the rubber is cushioning it, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what creates your cushion. Okay. So the Chevy Silverado heavy duty truck had a fifth wheel and this Ford that actually belongs to Carl, the CEO of the company, has a gooseneck hitch. So let's actually convert from one hitch to the other and start this next gooseneck test. So we're unhooking this fifth wheel from the kingpin in the trailer. You can see how that's made similar to what's on a semi truck. It's called a mini fifth wheel, because that's what it is. It's smaller than what a semi is. 
but you can see the jaws in here. Walk with me, I'll show you how this works. You can see what the kingpin looks like on this trailer. That's your landing point is this here. This is your point of attachment. Same thing, it's on a semi. That goes in to the jaws in the back of this fifth wheel. Grabs that kingpin, holds it in place. Now in this system, just like a semi, you don't have to have safety chains. So people who don't like to hook up the safety chains, the kingpin fifth wheel system works for them. And now we're gonna hook up the gooseneck ball and show you how that works. That's what you know the ranchers have used for years. They can take the ball out and have a bed totally usable without lifting three pieces of fifth wheel out. Carl, how much does this attachment weigh? This one yeah. weighs, you know, some over 100 pounds. Okay. So you probably want your like the trailer RV dealer to do this, right? Well, ideally, yeah. I mean, they got the proper tools. So Carl, there is more distance built into this because there is no fifth wheel hitch in the truck, right? Yeah, there's more length. So yeah. from this point to that point, there's added length. Yes. Right. So when you have a fifth wheel hitch, there's just a pin on that plate. When you have a gooseneck connection, there's several things. There well, of course, yeah. you still have your electric connection, the seven pin and the breakaway cable like the fifth wheel, but then you also have chains. Gen Y Hitch also sells these heavy duty. So everything is beefy. And then um, you have to put your breakaway cable basically to the frame. And this cable here, this is how you disconnect. It's a spring-loaded stainless steel pin. So when you drop the coupler onto the ball, it automatically connects. Then when you want to disconnect it, you jack the jack up, you see a little pressure on the ball, and then you pull this. And that will unhook it. And that's how you get unhooked without having two people to do it. Let's see this hitch work, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right now, I don't feel like I'm towing a trailer. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> With the executive torsion flex, that is normal, yes. Because you're basically taking like that jarring the, the hit mm -hmm. that the trailer sometimes can put on you, mm -hmm. you basically take, taking it away. Like right now, I just flew over, you know, this kind of intersection. You don't feel the trailer. No, I, I don't. That, that's exactly the difference you feel in this torsion flex that we have. You literally almost do not feel your trailer attached to your truck. So basically, we, we went through the factory. By the way, thank you for mm -hmm. letting us do that. Absolutely. Um, and you, we saw exactly how this, you know, the square tube with the little shaft inside and the rubber um, components all work together. It's basically, like you said, it's the way that trailer axles were built for a long time, right? Yeah. Similar to a torsion axle. Yeah. And torsion axles have been around since the 40s, I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, some of the original Airstreams had this type of technology in the axles. Yeah. The torsion axle generally has a smoother ride, and there a lot of the reason for that, every wheel on a torsion axle is independent. It's not attached to the it's other not side. like they're connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then, why didn't you do air, for example? I mean, I mean that's another option, right? To put an airbag somehow in there. A lot of those still ride on a solid pivot. So if you look at the design of, of the Torsion Flex Executive, it's 100% independent of the truck. The, the truck and trailer are 100% independent. Okay. Similar to what I just explained on the Torsion Axle, okay. where every wheel is independent. That's exactly how we've designed this. Now with an airbag, you, a lot of them set the airbag in between like a sandwich almost between two plates, uh -huh. but still on one side or the other, you still have a solid connection. So it's not 100% true independency. And we have seen tremendous, you know, 200% better results than the airbag. Well, there you have it, guys. If you're towing long distance on your vacation or actually for work, a nice torsion flex executive hitch in this case makes a ton of sense and go back to tfltruck.com for the latest news views and truck and trailer and hitch 
reviews.